Okay, in this video, I'm going to discuss some of the major advantages and disadvantages of uh, operating a business using a limited liability company structure. This is one of the main questions that we get um, throughout the day, week to week. Um, we see it everywhere. A lot of our clients are asking these questions. And so I figured I would make a PowerPoint presentation and a video to kind of go along with it and explain uh, more of what we mean by advantages and disadvantages. So first, uh, you know, as I mentioned previously, the uh, an LLC is very easy to set up. There's not a, nearly as much paperwork or reporting um, that's needed for a corporation. So I, I know you all can read, but uh, I'll just briefly go over some of um, some of this verbiage here. An LLC requires less, obviously less formality. There's not nearly as much regulation or uh, regulation. Corporations must hold regular meetings of their board of directors and shareholders, keep corporate minutes. Uh, that just means that they have to keep track of their uh, meetings with shareholders and, and file those reports with the state. Now, on the other hand, with members and managers of an LLC, they don't have to hold those regular meetings. Uh, reduces a lot of complications and paperwork um, and, and just makes your life easier as an owner of an LLC. So with a, a corporation, any improper procedures may allow a creditor to uh, have an even higher likelihood or a high, higher probability of reaching your personal assets or your assets as a shareholder um, in the event that you were uh, to get sued and end up with a judgment creditor against your company. So a uh, second major advantage is the tax fle flexibility. By default, um, an LLC is treated as a pass-through entity for tax purposes. This, this is very similar to a sole proprietorship or a partnership. Uh, essentially, that just means you're able to avoid double taxation. Um, instead of taxing the income to the business as corporate income and then taxing your income your, that you earn from the business, so you're taxing the business income plus your personal income. And that's how it's typically uh, happens with a corporation. With an LLC, you only tax your personal income. So another major attractive factor is the special profit allocations with an LLC. LLCs can make special allocations of profits and losses amongst its members, whereas uh, corporations typically cannot, as corporations must have one class of ownership in which profits and losses are allocated according to the percentage of ownership. Um, with an LLC, that's uh, not necessarily the case. You can distribute profits and losses however you wish, and typically that is uh, laid out in the operating agreement. Property contributions. So contributing property to set up an LLC is not a taxable event, even for the minority interest owners. Whereas for a corporation, the IRC only allows it to be tax-free for contributors who have control of the business. So anyone that is an owner, whether they have control or not, um, is able to contribute property tax-free. There's no ownership restrictions. LLC can have an unlimited number of members, whereas corporations are limited to 100. And uh, pretty much anyone can be an owner of an LLC, even foreign persons. Ability to use the cash method of accounting. Um, this is a lesser known benefit. However, uh, limited liability companies can use this method uh, where income is not earned until it's received. On the other hand, C corporations often use the accrual method of accounting, which is the inverse of, which is the inverse of that. The ability to deduct losses is a, another major benefit of one using a business, but specifically uh, using an LLC, where members are active participants in the LLC's business. They can deduct operating losses against their regular personal income. Of course, this is to the extent permitted by law in, in any given state. So the ability to pr place membership interest into a living trust, this is also a lesser known benefit, but here members of an LLC are free to place their membership interest in a living trust. In the case of an S corporation, placing shares in a trust can raise issues with uh, the S corporation status. So 
while there are a tremendous amount of advantages that in my opinion do far outweigh the disadvantages there are some that are worth mentioning and um, at least worth mentioning and worth pointing some direction to to possibly avoid some of these disadvantages if you have any control of that so first profits are subject to social security and medicare taxes so here for an LLC that's disregarded for tax purposes, there can be the disadvantage that all earned income is subject to self-employment tax, unlike an S corporation in which some money can be taken out as a salary and some as dividends. So essentially what this means is um, if you're not taxing yourself as an S corporation, um, you're going to pay self-employment tax, which usually amounts to about seven to eight percent. And um, on the other hand, uh, if let's say that you're a real estate agent, um, which typically real estate agents operate as independent contractors of real estate brokers. And so even though they are a separate entity and a separate LLC, they're technically um, being hired to provide service from the real estate broker. So in that case, or for that reason, the LLC AKA the real estate agent operating using an LLC uh, can opt to be taxed as an S corporation um, and thereby uh, alleviate the burden of having to pay self-employment tax. Why? Because they are technically being employed or their services being requested by the real estate broker. So the, uh, another two sets of benefit, uh, I'm sorry, disadvantages here is owners must immediately recognize profits. So unless an LLC elects to be taxed as a corporation, profits are automatically included in a member's income. Uh, on, the in, on the other hand, a C corporation does not have to immediately distribute profits to its shareholders as a dividend. Essentially, that just means that shareholders in a corporation um, are not always taxed on the corporation's profits. Lastly here, personal liability for ta payroll taxes um, the owners of an LLC that is taxed as a disregarded entity, like a partnership or a proprietorship, could be personally liable for payroll taxes uh, that are not paid by the company. Uh, shareholders of a corporation, um, or sorry, I'm sorry, on the on the other hand, or inversely, shareholders of a corporation would not be liable for these taxes unless they're officers or directors. So those are some of the advantages and disadvantages. Um, if you have any questions, I know those are some of the main questions we get. If you have any questions similar to those, uh, please feel free to reach out to us. Uh, we'd be happy to answer any of your questions and uh, we'll definitely see you in another video.